Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example which is a combination of trigonometry and sector area. The diagram shows a rectangle A, B, C, E and D lies on EC. T, A, B is a sector of the circle with radius 8 cm and a sector angle 30 degrees. Calculate the area of the shaded region. Now from close observation, we can see that there are three shapes in this particular given diagram. One is a right angle triangle EAD. Another one is a sector of a circle DAB. And another is a rectangle ABCE as given in the question. Now to find out the area of this shaded region, we have to find out the total area of the rectangle and subtract the area of triangle and the area of sector from the area of rectangle. So let us write it down over here. So the area of shaded region is area of rectangle minus area of right angle triangle and the area of the sector DAB. Now let us start by first finding the area of the rectangle. Now area of rectangle is given as length times width. So let us write it down over here. So area of rectangle is length times width. But in the diagram we can see that only the length of the rectangle is given. That is 8 cm. But the width is missing. So to find the width EA, we are going to consider the right angle triangle EAD. So let me draw it over here again. And we need to find out the value of EA which is acting as a width of the rectangle. To find out the value of EA, we are going to use one of the trigonometric ratios, either sine, cosine or tangent. Now here the angle is 60 degrees, so the side opposite to 60 degrees acts as an opposite side. And AD is the hypotenuse because it is opposite to the 90 degrees. And the remaining side acts as an adjacent side. Let me take it as A. Now in this case we have to find out the adjacent side. So I am going to use the cos trigonometric ratio. So let me write it over here. So cos theta or cos of an angle is given as adjacent side over hypotenuse. Now here the theta is 60 degrees. So let me write over here cos of 60 degrees is equal to the adjacent side which is EA or AE divided by the hypotenuse which is 8 cm. So by cross multiplication we can find out the value of AE as 8 times cos 60. So that is going to give us a value of 4 cm. So we have got the width as 4 cm. Let us write it over here. AE is 4. Now once we got this, we can easily find out the area of rectangle by multiplying the length 8 with the width 4. So we have area of rectangle given as 8 times 4. So that gives us a value of 32 cm square. So the first part of the calculation we have got, that is area of rectangle. Let us mark it out as 1. Now let us try to find out the area of the right angled triangle. Now this is the same right angle triangle we need to consider that is EAD. So let us consider the same diagram to find out the value of the area of the right angled triangle. Now here to find the area of the right angle triangle I have used the formula half times AB sin C. AB are the sides which encloses the angle in between them. So here we can take A as 4 cm b as 8 cm and the angle between these two sides can be taken as angle c. So let us substitute in this area of triangle formula 1 over 2 times 4 times 8 times sin 60. Now to find out the area of triangle you can also use the formula half times base times height and in that case you are supposed to find out the value of ED. The second method also works over here. Now let us find out the value. 
So, this gives us a value of 8 radical 3 or by converting it into decimals we get it as 13.856. So, I will take it as 13.856 centimeter square and let us mark it out as 2. Now, the last part which is left in the calculation is to find out the area of sector. So, let us write down the formula. So, area of sector is given by the formula theta over 360 degrees times pi r square, where theta represents the central angle of the sector. So, in this case it is 30 degrees. So, let us substitute over here 30 degrees over 360 degrees times pi times the radius square. So, the radius of the sector is 8 centimeter. So, we will write it as 8 square. So, that is going to give us a value of 16 pi over 3. So, let us convert it into decimal and check how much we get 16.755. So, let us write over here 16.755 centimeter square. So, this becomes our value number 3. So, we are going to substitute the values of area of rectangle area of the triangle and area of the sector and get the value of area of shaded region as so 32 minus 13.856 minus 16.755 that gives us a value of 1389 divided by 1000 or simply put as a decimal it gives us 1.389 so i am just rounding it off to three significant figures and i am going to write it as 1.389 nine centimeter square. So, this is the area of the shaded region. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So, if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.